Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to download and play with a new Minecraft Distant Horizons mod, which allows you to greatly increase your render distance to see great distances, and transforms the way that the game looks. So let me show you how to make your Minecraft look like this. So to start, we're going to obviously need the Distant Horizons mod, and you can find this by searching Distant Horizons mod and clicking on this top CurseForge link. Once you're here, just click on Files, and then download Distant Horizons for whatever version that you want to play in. If you want to be able to play Distant Horizons with all the shaders and other mods that make it run smoothly, at this point in time, I would recommend 1.20.1. This is the most recent version they support. You can also see that most of these downloads are available for Forge and Fabric, which are mod loaders. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Forge, but if you want to use Fabric, the process is almost identical. So I'm going to be downloading version 1.20.1, so I'll come over here and click download file. The next thing we need is Forge. Now if you're using Fabric, then you can just download Fabric. But to download Forge, we just search for Forge download and click on the official Forge site. And make sure you download the same version of Forge as the mod that you downloaded. So in my case, that's 1.20.1 and I'm gonna be downloading the recommended installer. Make sure that you don't click on any ads here and you wait for five seconds for this skip button to appear in the top right and then we can download our file. Now I'm here on my desktop and I have the two files that I just downloaded. So the first thing we have to do is install Forge and you can do that by double clicking on the Forge file or right clicking, then going to open with, and then we're gonna wanna use this Java platform SE binary. Now, if you don't see this, head back over to your web browser and search Java download and click on the official Java site and download Java here and set it up. Once we have that squared away, we can open our Forge file with Java. Now here's the install window and just make sure that your file path is correct and you just want to install the client. So I'm going to click OK. Great. So now we have Forge installed and now we can head over to the Minecraft launcher. So you can see that Minecraft has already identified my Forge installation down here. You can see it says 1.20.1 Forge. But if yours hasn't, then you can go over to the installations tab. You can click new installation. Under version, you can find your Forge install and then down here, click create. Once you see the Forge installation here, we're gonna click on this little file icon and this will take us to our Minecraft files. And we're gonna to wanna to go to the mods folder. And in here, we're just gonna to wanna to drag our Distant Horizons mod into here. And we don't need to do anything other than that. And we'll head back over to launcher, make sure we're in the right installation and click play. Now, once we're in the game, you can see in the bottom left, it says we're in Forge and we now have this mods tab and you can see we have Distant Horizons here. So we can just head into a single player world and now we're in the world. It'll be pretty laggy once you first load in. To find the settings for Distant Horizons, press escape, go to options and it's gonna be this little button up here. And here you can set how many chunks you want to be rendered. You can choose how many resources from your CPU you wanna let the mod use and some other options here. What I recommend is to set this number pretty high to like 256 and increase your CPU load only while you're loading chunks. But once these chunks are loaded, I can go back to the settings and I can turn this down to low. You can see our mod is working now. For example, these mountains are super far away and usually with my low render distance, I would not be able to see them. But because of the Distant Horizons mod, I can now see hundreds of chunks in the distance without having a huge amount of lag. I hope that this tutorial worked for all of you guys. If it didn't, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you and have fun playing with this mod.